So layout update number two. As you see, uh, I needed to get rid of some of the wooden frame on our previous layout in order to get the track to go across the gray area, which is where the, the roadbed will go. So basically just a hammer and chisel is how I started uh, to get out that section. And there it is completed um, to be able to have our cork. I just needed the height of the cork. So this uh, pink area here, the pink foam, is going to be our upper layer, which will have some industries and a couple of tracks up there, which the train will bring uh, a rolling stock up there. These are the pieces uh, being about to be glued together. I uh, could have used a bunch of solid sheets of foam, but uh, end up with so many scraps that uh, I like to use the scraps. So here you can see where I use marker to mark the pieces where they cross, so I can put the pieces together in the same formation. Here is the everything with glue on it. Yeah, so uh, when the glue is dry, of course, we can run a train or two. Here is um, the section with the top on it. You see the ramp on the side there for vehicles to get to the top. Ended up using two layers in order to get the, uh, the height uh, to the proper level. Here's part of our construction crew. Uh, getting things all smooth on the on the edges there. And what we're going to do, we're going to have a switch right here that heads off down following this gray path. It's going to come on around here, kind of hard to see with all the stuff, but anyway. Then it's going to cross over our ravine here, hit a switch back, where the train can go back that way, back up the hill. Here's our incline uh, by the tank here. Anyway. It'll climb up the hill, goes in a tunnel, comes back out. And I've just tacked the track down right now with these pins just to show the um, trajectory and pathway of it. Now we had a great incline here, but I needed to get some better uh, easements on our curves to make the wider curves, curves wider. So I had to uh, just glue some uh, shims on the outside to make our our uh, incline wider so and here's where it's going to have a bridge to come over on top of our upper platform which will serve the industries at the top on this platform here so that'll be our our crossover there so anyway just want to give a little update all right and uh we're going to start laying cork where this track is right now. We'll take up the track because that's just temporarily sitting there and start laying some cork. Part of our plan for our layout, Will wanted to have a, an airport on his layout. So here it is just sitting where it would be, but we want to uh, add some foam under it to get it to a higher elevation so we can clear the track behind it. That's one layer. There's the second layer. And we need it a little bit more in order to get it above the uh, the track in the back so we can go over it, which would give us more real estate for the airport. So there it is, ready to be glued together. Uh, we also added some uh, recycled uh, foam core to the back to get uh, the full width. And looking underneath, we had a couple of posts there just to make more clearance and to make it a solid base. So here it is uh, with the glue drying, uh, with the sandbags on it. And here's looking through the, the back tunnel for the train to go through. Uh, so completed, that's what it looks like. And then once we painted it a gray just to give it a base, uh, here it is. Uh, I did decide that we needed to get rid of most of that uh, uh, frame, wooden frame around, so I ended up finding that a, uh, just a sheetrock knife worked best. And then the yellow stuff there is some of the uh, spray foam. It hardens into a, a harder foam. It's a, I think it's called great stuff. I've used it a few times, and here I've just made some rock rock structures, some rock formations. Um, and then also in our ravine, uh, the guy in the red there uh, threw a little tantrum because I wasn't allowing him to spray it as much as uh, he wanted me to allow him to. But that's part of working with uh, um, others on the layout. Okay, it's Saturday the 22nd of August. And another update on the layout. So this is going to be Will's airport. He's been wanting to get on here. Uh, I showed you yesterday uh, the track going up the incline. 
and now what that was that was just pinned down so now I have um, started adding the cork for the for the road bed as you can see I've only done one side strip um, all the way up up to the uh, where the bridge will be and so I'm getting ready to put in the second side and on this one I transitioned to the other side because this was more critical um, toward where this tunnel is going to be and instead of this looking like a tunnel it's actually just going to look like it's going into the woods because um, we'll put a bunch of trees around on the top and on the bottom here and then where it pops up the other side um, same deal it's going to look like uh, trees uh, and then I did make sure that I do have the proper uh, clearance using the NRMA NMRA gauge so that um, so that we have our proper proper gap there for the for the train to easily go through and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna have will glue all these parts together but this whole this whole hillside here is gonna be one unit which can lift off and put back on so in case something derails in the tunnel it can easily be gotten to or track maintenance or whatever so anyway that's the update for uh, for right now just wanted to get you that uh, that going there. Hi guys, it's me, and it's my first time on YouTube with my dad. Hey guys. Hey, and my name is Will Parker. I am ten years old, and my hobby is flying cars and choo choos. I mean, and, and trains. Dad, sir, what's your hobby? Hello, I'm uh, 50 years old, and my favorite hobby is motor railroading. Also, love playing with this guy over here, and uh, I like flying planes too. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna give a little tour of our layout, our train layout, and where we are on it. We've been working on uh, on this for. A little over a year. No, I, I got it when I was like five. Well, this part, yeah, but this layout with this extension here, which yeah. we'll show them in just a moment. You want to go ahead and give them a little tour of what we have? Yeah, we'll show you in just a minute. And, and this is our mascot. Wait, this is our mascot, Baxter. He's a doggy who's three years old. So now on to the more important stuff. There's my dad. Uh, you gonna give him a tour there? Yes. Putting the train car on that's obviously mine. So this shows our original layout which is the, if we'll back up a little bit you can see um, it's this 4 foot by 8 foot area here 4 foot by 6 foot I guess it is and this is a helicopter view of it yeah see, see that house that's, that's my favorite that, that's one of my favorite things on this... Favorite building? On, on this part of the layout. Awesome. Sorry, sorry about that. I also have a cat. And, yeah, so there's a gas station. And I have a, another gas station. Yeah, and this is in our basement. And there's my model airplane. So here's KFC. Here, there's a second house on my layout. Here's the World Trade Center building, but it's not really World Trade Center. I'm, I'm saying that for fun. Here's a third house. Sorry, it's so small. Yeah, I mean, or maybe that's a cabin. I can't tell, but like it's a lake house. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a lake house. We might put that on the edge of our river there. Oh, good idea. And here's the other gas station I was telling you about. Now we're on to the train set. Okay. So look, there's a little train depot. There's some paint, which I didn't mean to show you guys that. Train set. A nice little tree. The train goes over the lake. It splits into half. So the train can go that way toward the train depot, toward, toward the center, or it can go back to that layout. Alright, it's January 8th, 2016. 
uh, layout update. Let me see, we have all of our track in. Yeah, oh well, excuse me, all the track except the bridge over there. All of our track is in, the cork is down, of course first. And what I have going now is we uh, we painted the roads all the way down here. Um, and then I want to transfer that to uh, foam core so that we have some you know, some elevation and profile to our road. So I've covered it with um, what's it called uh, wax paper, and then I made this with just some clamps to have the right width for our roads to trace it. And now I'm going to um, you know use that to uh, to transfer it onto our foam core, and uh, then I'll cover you know all the roads with foam core so that it'll have the profile on the edges and give some height to it. It'll also make our uh, what's it called? The uh, grade crossing is a whole lot easier when it has the foam core going to it. So, all right, there's our update. We've also blacked out some some of the rocks with some paint, just to um, give the depth. That's going to be um, you know the bottom layer of the the paint on our rocks. So there you go. There you have it, and we'll catch up later.